Hi everyone, this is Sarunit Kapoor. Welcome to our weekly Ethereum options trading strategy video. So, as we can see, Ethereum has broadly stayed sideways since the 18th of August and today is the 20th of September. So, more than a month, Ethereum has roughly stayed inside this range of 1700 and on the lower side, 1600. Ethereum has rarely broken this range and has reverted back to this range three times, as we can see here and here the top made by ethereum in this past month has been 1750 and the bottom has been 1530 approximately so based on this we can uh, as we can see that ethereum has been roughly trading inside this range and until ethereum uh, breaks this range we are not expecting a trending type of a movement and uh, so the best type of trade to take in these type of circumstances is a short strangle so what i am personally going to do is going to be taking the short strangle of 1800 and the 1500 strikes for the 29th september okay so let's have a look at the strategy builder so currently the 1800 call option is trading at around 4.3 and the 1500 put option is trading at 3.2 so this gives us roughly a $7.5 of premium and the margin required at 100x leverage for this position will be roughly $35. Okay, so we'll be getting a profit of $7.5 on a margin of $35 which equates to roughly a 20% return. And as you can see the strategy is very safe because both of the break evens for the strategy are close to the two standard deviation mark. So, the, so there is only a less than 1% probability that Ethereum will breach our break-even points uh, in this week. Also, the break-even point on the call side is a bit higher than the break-even point on the put side. That is because the calls are trading at a higher premium to the put options, which is what we can see that our call option is priced more than our put option. Even though Ethereum is currently trading at 1637, the 1800 call option is priced more than the 1500 put option, which is closer. Uh, and that is because the call options are trading at a higher premium because people are expecting upside in the price of Ethereum. So in that case also, our lower break even being inside the two standard deviation feels a bit justified. For this trade, so our strategy is roughly selling the 1800 call option and the 1500 put option. For this strategy, we will place our stop losses uh, at a premium of $12 either side. So which means that if our stop loss hits, uh, we will lose roughly $8 per position and per position we are making $4. So that gives us a risk to reward of 1 ratio 2. And the overall risk for the strategy is 1 ratio 1. Also, a Delta Exchange gives you an option to place a stop loss at the asset price also. So I have additionally for extra security placed a stop loss at the asset price of 1780. So if Ethereum crosses above 1780, the stop loss for my call side will be hit. And if it goes below 1520, my stop loss will again be hit. If we check out the open interest for this weekly expiry, we can see that the open interest on the calls at 1800 strike is roughly 77,000 and for the puts it is roughly 54,000. So which is a very good open interest and we are selling our options at a point of very high open interest, which is a good thing. And also these are the strikes which have seen the most volume in the past some time. So people are probably mostly interested in the short strangle of these strikes. So the strikes which are being traded most are the 1800 and the 1500 and the 1450. Also, as you can see that the realized volatility is lower than the implied volatility, which is also a perfect scenario to take a short strangle. And as you can see that the IV minus RV is positive, which is a perfect scenario to take a short strangle. So if we see the ADX, that is at a very low price of 13, which indicates sideways movement is going to continue in the market. Thank you.